inspecting a belt tensioner, there is a right way to do it. Unfortunately, there is a wrong way that might be easier, but it can cause a comeback. The wrong way to inspect a belt tensioner is to look for indicator marks on the body and the arm of the tensioner. The problem with this type of inspection is that the marks do not indicate the health of the tensioner. First off, these marks are not on all tensioners. Second, these marks do not mean the same thing for all vehicles. For some vehicles, the marks determine if a new belt is too long or short for the belt drive system. For others, it could indicate the level of tension that is being applied by the tensioner when the engine is running. Neither evaluates the overall condition of the tensioner. What is the right way? First, visually inspect the tensioner. Look at the gap between the tensioner's body and arm. When installed on the vehicle with a belt, the gap should be even all the way around. Next, look for unusual rust or oil stains on the tensioner. Both visual cues can indicate the pivot, dampening, or spring could be compressed and should be replaced. Some techs will just remove the old belt and install the new belt. This is the wrong way and skips the most critical step in drive belt system inspection, the belt off inspection. A belt off inspection is the only way to get a complete inspection of the belt drive system. With the belt off, you can see the entire length of the belt to look for damage and wear. You can also spin the pulleys and components to see if they are damaged. Most importantly, you can evaluate the tensioner. To do this, place a wrench on the tensioner and move the arm through its entire range of motion at least three times. Any sticking, loss of resistance, or notching movement may indicate a problem with the spring or pivot bearing. After a complete inspection, you can recommend resetting the belt drive system. By refreshing the belt drive system, you can protect the belt so it can last just as long as the original.